Here are a couple of great technical points that you want to keep in mind when performing the couch stretch. When it comes to the couch stretch, we're working on improving our hip extension mobility. There's a couple things we want to really pay attention to when we're in the position to get the most out of the stretch. So first thing is once we're in the stretch, you're going to find your level of stretch. So it doesn't need to be super intense. Um, but we do want to get you in a position where you're feeling a nice stretch somewhere in the realm of having a 4 to 6 out of 10 stretch level. And you can do that a couple ways. One, the easiest way is hands on the floor leaning forward, squeezing your glute and getting some stretch through there. To progress that, you'll come up taller, getting more and more of a stretch, and then bringing your heel to your butt and even your knee closer to the bench. That will all increase the level of stretch that you're going to feel. The second thing that you're going to want to pay attention to in this position is your pelvic position. So we don't want to be arching our back here and then just driving the hip forward. You can do that. There's not necessarily something wrong with that, but there's a concept of bowing your stretch. If we can take our pelvic position and create more of a posterior tilt so the ribs are being pulled down, the belly buckle is being pulled up, you can get a much bigger stretch there without having to yank through all that range of motion. And that will actually help you with better trunk control, help put a better stretch to the area, and help really lengthen through that tissue. If you found the content valuable, drop a comment below with any questions that you have, and feel free to subscribe to the channel.